What's up, guys? It's Paul within the Loose Joints. Um, here with Daryl. But, uh, no. he'll be gone during this review. But, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a good look at, uh, what I picked up today. It's a new Marvel Universe, um, 3-inch action figures. I got Iron Man, um, just giving you guys a look at the package. Uh, he's number one in the series. And, um... His wave comes with Spider-Man, uh, Punisher, and Silver Surfer. And he also comes with the file, too. Um, just give you guys a size comparison about uh, how big this figure is. Here's um, the 25th anniversary Ninja Turtle figure. See, he's a way smaller. What? But yeah. Alright guys, I'll get on to the review now. Alright guys, so here is Iron Man, um, he's nicely detailed, but, um, after playing around with him for a while, I'm kind of disappointed about this figure, um, I was, I was expecting a lot more for 8 bucks, um, I got him for 8 bucks, but, uh, with tax he came out to like 920 something, and honestly, that's a size, I mean, that's a, that's a cost of a deluxe figure, and honestly, that is not worth it. Um, let's just, let's get into it. So here is Iron Man. Uh, his color scheme was, of course, the crimson red with the gold. Um, he has a white um, uh, centerpiece there. Uh, I, I kind of wish they went more with a, with a um, blue that they came, that, that uh, Iron Man usually comes out with, but uh, it's it's fine, I guess. Um, as for articulation, this guy has a lot, but um, I could have asked for a little bit more. So his arm goes 360, goes in and out a little, about there. Um, his shoulder pads kind of hit inhibit. Um, the in and out bends out the elbow goes around like so this doesn't go 360 because he has shoulder pads in the back um, the arm or the hand goes around uh, the legs kind of funky um, can't go back due to the back portion goes up Bends out the knee, the foot goes down, up, and goes around, but doesn't pivot side to side, which I was kind of sad about. He has movement on the shoulder pads. His head, kind of disappointed about that too, just goes 360 and goes, looks up a little. And then down a little, but not not as much as as I was expecting. The waist has a lot of movement, as you can see, it goes far back, it goes and looks down too. And if you look at if you look at at it from the back, you see that it's held on by like a, a ball joint. And his waist goes 360. His hip has no articulation, was which was kind of disappointing too. Um, overall, like I like the paint, this paint scheme, and the the detail in this figure is really nice, especially for like a three inch figure. But um, as for articulation, I, it kind of left me wanting more than uh, it actually gave. Um, it came with an accessory too. Here we have like a repulsor energy wave, and um, what you do is you attach it onto his arm, like so, and then you just pose it, I guess. Let's try and give it a good pose if I can. As you can tell, it kind of 
weighs it down a little. But um, that ex- that accessory is like it's it kind of left me disappointed too. Um, it, as you can see, it kind of goes shoots downwards, like it's flaccid. <laughs> and um, I was kind of disappointed about that. Uh, I wish they gave him like a cooler accessory. But um, his other accessory that he came with is they're called Top Secret Files. Um, it's a little envelope. You see it has a little tape on it. And um, it's actually used for like a shield program, I guess. Um, it comes with a little note that um, that Tony Stark wrote, I guess. I think each each character in the line actually has a different um, a different sheet with like writing on it, because here it actually has uh, Tony Stark on there. And you see, has some words crossed out that he didn't want anyone to know. And here he has. Um, his Superhuman Registration Act card. It has some um, information about Iron Man and Tony Stark. And in the back, it's basically a card. But overall, um, it's really disappointed. $8 was not worth this figure. Um, I'd say if you were, you were to buy him, he'd be around $6 max. Um, they had other figures when I went to, um, the store I got, I got them at, uh, they had Wolverine, like a black, black and gray suit Wolverine, he had red eyes, um, that one looked pretty articulate, um, the rest of the figures, not so much, um, I got Iron Man just cause Iron Man's one of my favorite Marvel characters, but other than that, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it for my review, um, definitely not worth it, only if, only if you were an Iron Man, um, fan, and you really needed this figure, uh, he's worth it, but, I guess that's it, I think the only figure I'll buy next out of this line is Hulk, and yeah, that's just to fight Iron Man, <laughs> but other than that, um, I guess this is the pass. Alright guys, this is Paula from the Loose Joint signing out. Later.